Hey, what's going on? This is Andre Sweeney, the Life Specialist. Welcome to the Get a Life Show, the show that gives you the tools and principles necessary for an outstanding life. Today's segment is called Marriage for Life, and today's topic is Date Night. Listen, I want to give you some powerful principles to help you stay married for life. Too many people are getting divorced. Too many people are making bad decisions before they even step foot in a church or a courthouse to get married. And so I'm going to help you uh, to, to just get some powerful principles that's going to help your marriage. So today we're going to talk about date night. Date night is a very, very important thing. It, it's, a, it's not a brand new topic, but it's certainly getting a lot of notoriety. Listen, the Bible tells us to go back to our first love. And just like natural, same as spiritual, just like we have to go back to God when things aren't always going the way that they should, it's the same way in your marriage. Remember the things that you did for your wife before you got married. Remember the roses. Remember the, the cute little notes. Remember how much special attention you paid to every little detail that she wanted. Remember how you used to do things for your potential husband. <clears throat> Remember how you used to look at him. The things that made him fall for you in the first place. The things that, that, that you did to make each other just go crazy and love each other. Oftentimes life gets in the way and we forget those things. We forget the extra kindness we used to show. And now because we're comfortable and we know we have that person, so to speak, now we begin to get loose. And we begin to forget the things that made our mates attractive to us in the first place. Well, after you begin to get bogged down with life, bills, responsibilities, children, jobs, ministry, many times, and we hate to admit this, but a lot of times we have to plan our way into successful interactions with our mates. We have to plan. That means you have to schedule some time for each other. Many of you have worked, many of you have children, and things can get so hectic that you forget to spend time with each other. You forget to be intimate. You forget those things that's going to make you a happy couple. So listen, you need to take a day and plan that one day out of the week just between you and your husband, you and your wife. Nothing else gets in the way. No children, no friends, no responsibilities, nothing. That time is designated for your husband or your wife. You pick a place of, that you mutually agree upon. And you go and have some fun. Go to the movies. Go out to the show. Enjoy yourself. Go out to dinner. And spend that time the same way you used to when you were dating. Call her up while you're at work and say, Honey, I can't wait to be with you tonight. Go home and pick her up. Get dressed up. No, don't go out in your sweatpants. And don't go out looking all cruddy. You wouldn't have done that when you were dating. Do it like you did it back in the day. Go with anticipation. Go with excitement. Open the car door for her. She'll be doing that anyway. But do all you th all the things you did when you were trying to get her. Mack her the way you macked her back in the day. Don't just talk to her like she's just some chick on the street. No. No. Chase after her. Make her feel like she's the only woman on the, on the face of the planet like you used to. Go somewhere. Have a good time. And then come home and, hey, get together. Make love. I'm not afraid to say it. Sex was intended for married people. And sometimes we act, we act as if it's dirty for us. No. Get in the grind. Love on each other. Because the bottom line is, it's going to bring you guys closer. Intimacy is a powerful thing. And if, and, if you, and if you exit that out of your life, then you're missing a very important component of what it means to be married. Now, don't get me wrong. Sex is not the most important thing. But God meant it as a tool to bring you together, to bring you to, to, to the place of oneness. And if you're not doing that, then you're missing out on what it means to be a couple. It's for us. It's for you. So don't be afraid to embrace it. Don't be afraid to talk about it. Do all you can do to be intimate with each other. Hold each other afterwards. Don't just roll over and start snoring. Hold each other. Talk to each other. Some of the best talk in the world is pillow talk. Some of the best communication in the world is after you've been together and now you're ready to, to look into each other's eyes and talk about your hopes and dreams. This is Andre Sweeney, the life specialist. I want all of you couples to go on a date night 
and I'm here to help you get a life.